All right, Scorpio, let's see what our main energy is and get this uh, reading rolling. So where's our main energy for this rest of this month? And of course, we get two cards because that's how we roll. We have the Emperor and the Five of Cups. The Emperor, to me, is one of structure. It's... Uh, this person knows all the inner workings of their space and they are able to control the space they want. Like this is the creator and the mod, like how I look at emperor energy is like organization, thoughtfulness, being well aware and um, involved in the inner workings of your space and understanding how things um, come together, how things flow understanding schedule and routine and organization those kinds of things um the emperor has that kind of energy or he wouldn't have an empire to run right and then with the five of cups this cup is this person is paying attention to what they have lost this is a card of grief or um a pause and they're not paying attention to what's left on their path and what's ahead of them. So sometimes we get caught up in the details of, of things and caught up in how is this working right now? And we don't, we're not forward thinking um, to see what else is ahead of us. We're too busy paying attention to what we've lost to, to see what we still have sometimes so if things have not gone well in your empire or you're really focused on a real a small part of things or uh, focusing on what you don't have inside of your realm if you will you know this could be inside your home inside your family inside your job and you're only paying attention to what you don't have it really makes it difficult to go uh, along the journey and um, be excited about what's yet to come uh, or to appreciate what you still have going for us. Oh, I'm going to take a drink, but apparently I've already drank it. All. <clears throat> so let's pull a card for our mental state. And we'll see, or yeah, mental state and see how it plays in with these other two cards. So what is mental state? And we have the Nine of Swords. So you may be feeling like a little bit of a victim right now. You might be beat up. You might be feeling like you've taken on, especially, I feel like this is coming out as taking responsibility for some stuff that may not necessarily be your stuff to be responsible for anyway. And you're really starting to get bogged down by it. So if you've been picking up the slack and running things for somebody else, or running things um, based on this space of loss, um, it can make you definitely feel like a victim. It can make you feel um, like you're taking on a lot of punishment that doesn't belong to you because it probably doesn't. Uh, so mentally for the rest of the month, it, that's a hard card to come out. That's a... Um, sometimes we just get beat up by life you know and me talking earlier with life being life and i made mistakes and put my energy um i didn't use my energy properly kind of thing i didn't use my time properly and i wasn't able to prioritize some of the things that are really important to me because of that so you know you can get in the space where you're like man life is kicking my rear end right now um, I have this loss, uh, something's not meeting my expectations or I've lost something or something's been taken away and I just want to sit down and cry about it. Let's pull one for our physical space and see where that one lies. we have justice
I just keep hearing like it's not fair and it's not that's the way and if you're physically really focused on what's fair what's right what's just this balancing of the scales you can begin to feel like a victim because you know what life isn't fair how many times have we been told that you know it's just sometimes um Things just don't work how, from our perspective, the way we feel is just. We're like, why do I keep getting beat up when others have this or can do that or it goes smoothly for others where I just keep getting, eh. and it can get really in this, I want to make things fair, I want to make things just, well, you know what, it, that's not for us to decide sometimes or we're making things harder on ourselves because of our own perspective on our situations so if we're spending all of our time looking at what we don't have instead of what we do have we probably do feel that the world's pretty unjust and you're always having to seek this injustice or fairness or why think why can't things be fair why can't i have a good and easy whatever like so and so right Let's pull a card for our emotional space. Okay, come on. Can I shuffle? Ah, <laughs> oh, Scorpios. Let's take this one. Queen of Wands. So emotionally, you made me feel really freaking passionate about some stuff, right? These are a lot of really strong energies coming through, which I mean, more Scorpios. So what else do we expect, right? This, I really feel like you're us Scorpios are taking on stuff that um, are picking up for other people probably more so than ourselves we're like I'm going to stand and I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna be passionate about this and I'm gonna I'm gonna be strong for people that need me to be strong and I'm gonna seek justice and and try to to run things um, but in that in our our fight if you will uh, it opens a lot of opportunities for this um, this feeling of unfairness, this fe feeling of lack, and a feeling of loss. And it can be really empowering to work through those kinds of things and help others. It can also be extremely detrimental to our own um, life because we get too focused on this stuff instead of on um, the positive sides of things. So again, looking at lack rather that, you know, looking at what you don't want instead of what you do want. And I find changing my focus, changing my um, perception in those kinds of situations can really help move past these, these um, more uncomfortable feelings or this, um, the parts that make things really frustrating and hard if i'm able to shift my perspective um like if i was able to shift this person's perspective yeah this has been lost but look what's ahead lift your head change perspective he'd be able to see that there's still some really awesome stuff ahead of him but right now with his perspective he's only seeing this darkness only seeing this loss so i it may be very important, um, however this energy is playing out in our lives, to shift our perspective so we can work through the negative aspects of things. And we have the Three of Swords coming out and for our spiritual space. The Three of Swords are hurt feelings, just simply put. Um, from 
how I think of these cards and relate to these cards. Uh, some people like to get into that it's a third party situation, whether there's a, someone involved in a, in a way they shouldn't be within a kind of a relationship, whether it be romantic or not, or it's receiving um, information from a third party. Uh, regardless, to me, when it all boils down, this is hurt feelings. So whether you're hurting someone else's feelings or someone else are hurting, is hurting your feelings, um, with the rest of these kind of energies, this isn't shocking to me. Uh, these are really strong, forceful, I'm going to stand and fight and I'm going to make the decisions. I'm in control kind of energies with these three here. And then you have these two here that are, um, I want, I don't want to say feeling sorry for themselves because that makes me kind of feel like an ass, but really, um, their perspective is allowing them to feel like the victim. Their perspective is allowing them to feel the loss. Their perspective is not one, um, that's coming through in a positive way. So if we do get caught up in these kind of negative, um, victim ish. And when I say victim, I'm not, you may have every freaking right in the planet to feel like a victim right now. I'm not diminishing, um, the level of that. So please don't think I'm just like, oh, you should never feel sorry for yourself or you should never feel beat down. But if you are a victim of a situation, regardless of the severity of it, you still have control of your perspective of the situation. So I'm not telling you to be like putting on a fake smile and say everything's awesome if you really, you know, if it's not, but you can accept what is and then work on adjusting your own perspective, how you feel about it, how you deal with it. Um, sometimes we hurt our own feelings, <laughs> you know, um, and sometimes when we're caught up in that kind of energy, we can hurt others' feelings. Or if we're in um, playing the victim role or we're having a, um, a moment of grief um, and paying attention to our lack, it's sometimes we make it easy. We expose part of ourselves that allows um, for another person to hurt us easily because we're showing our weakness uh, in our moment of grief or in our moment of lack. So... Scorpios, it looks like it's a pretty intense ending to the month. To me, um, these cards are telling me to stay focused on the positive, be aware of perspective, um, do what we can um, to stay organized, to stay, um, to make our home and our space one that's um, put together uh, well that we're serving ourselves by putting our energy into um, what we where we really need it and we're have some excitement and passion and those kinds of things regarding that uh, and just be aware that yes there's tough feelings that surround us all the time there's tough situations there's um, really sad things happening in the world all the time, but what can you control right now? And what can you do right now? That's that's where the magic happens. What, what can I do? What can I say? What can I be? What can my perspective be that's going to help through the situation? What is my role here? Instead of taking so much ownership and I'm going to I'm going to beat this thing to death or I'm going to own it and feel sad, uh, regardless of how that's playing out in our lives today, Scorpio, these, I'm going to, I haven't been doing this for the others, but I feel like it's necessary with this one. I'm going to pull one more card and I'm going to pull it as a suggestion kind of card to give us a little more to leave, to end with, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. We get the death card, which is our card, Scorpio. And, and to me, this is, there comes a completion. 
where things have to come to an end and restart, right? That's what the death card's all about. He's not about actually dying. He's about whenever something has come to a complete end, a new cycle will start. So where in this, um, what do you have to complete so this can keep moving? Because you're not going to get rid of this kind of stuff until there's a completion, until there's some kind of decision made or um, come to some kind of acceptance or understanding to be like, okay, I'm done with this. We're going to, we're going to move on to something else in life. So, um, <laughs> goes back to perspective to me big time. What is your perspective, Scorpio? And how can you change it? How can you shift it and adjust it to best serve yourself? So you're living in the healthiest way that you can.